Every year, the world runs more and more on batteries. Electric vehicles passed 10% of global vehicle sales in 2022, and they're on track to reach 30% by the end of this decade. Policies around the world are only going to accelerate this growth. Recent climate legislation in the US is pumping billions into battery manufacturing and incentives for EV purchases. The European Union, or the EU, and several states in the US passed bans on gas-powered vehicles starting in 2035. The transition will require lots of batteries, as well as better and cheaper ones. An international team of researchers led by Dr. Shenlong Zhao from the University of Sydney has developed a new battery that has the potential to significantly reduce the cost of transitioning to a decarbonized economy. What type of battery is being referred to? How does it play an inevitable role in this industry's transformation? Welcome to the latest episode of Tesla Car World, where we will explore the most recent updates. Thank you for joining us today, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with our future video releases. Without further ado, let's delve into today's topic. Advanced battery technology involves the use of sophisticated technologies and materials in the design and production of batteries to enhance their performance, efficiency, and durability. Today, we want to give you a full view of a battery called sodium sulfur batteries, also known as NAS batteries, which are a type of energy storage system that uses a molten mixture of sodium, with sulfur being the electrolyte and sulfur as the electrolyte. What is the new battery's storage capacity? The battery has four times the energy capacity of lithium ion batteries and is much cheaper to produce. The team used sodium sulfur, a type of molten salt that can be extracted from seawater to create the battery making it a more cost-effective alternative to lithium-ion batteries. Although sodium sulfur, or NAS, batteries have existed for more than half a century, they have been an inferior alternative, and their widespread use has been limited by low energy capacity and short life cycles. Using a simple pyrolysis process and carbon-based electrodes to improve the reactivity of sulfur and the reversibility of reactions between sulfur and sodium, the researcher's battery has shaken off its formerly sluggish reputation, exhibiting super high capacity and ultra long life at room temperature. The researchers say that the NAS battery is also a more energy dense and less toxic alternative, toxic alternative to lithium ion batteries, which while used extensively in electronic devices and for energy storage, are expensive to manufacture and recycle. Dr. Zhao's NAS battery has been specifically designed to provide a high performing solution for large renewable energy storage systems, such as electrical grids, while significantly reducing operational costs. According to the Clean Energy Council in 2021, 32.5% of Australia's electricity came from clean energy sources and the industry is accelerating. Household energy storage is also growing. According to a recent report, a record 33,000 batteries were installed in 2021. But what advantages does it pose in terms of price? Our sodium battery has the potential to dramatically reduce costs while providing four times as much storage capacity. This is a significant breakthrough for renewable energy development which although it reduces costs in the long term, has had several financial barriers to entry, said lead researcher Dr. Zhao. When the sun isn't shining and the breeze isn't blowing, we need high quality storage solutions that don't cost the earth and are easily accessible on a local or regional level. We hope that by providing a technology that reduces costs, we can sooner reach a clean energy horizon. It probably goes without saying, but the faster we can decarbonize, the better chances we have of capping global warming. Storage solutions that are manufactured using plentiful resources like sodium, which can be processed from seawater, also have the potential to guarantee greater energy security more broadly and allow more countries to join the shift towards decarbonation. So what other characteristics does sodium sulfur batteries have that make it one of the best battery technologies of the future? The NAS battery is used in a variety of applications, such as peak shaving, load leveling, and emissions reductions. They may be utilized in power supplies and as a central feature of a smart grid or to provide power for ancillary services, grid frequency controls, and reactive power compensation. Being able to provide power for six hours or more, a single NAS battery system can be used for long energy shifting. 
grid frequency control, and emergency power supply. Next is the advantage of its compactness. The 200 kilowatt per the 200 kilowatt slash 1200 kilowatt hour battery is compact and easy to store. Available in a 20 foot ISO shipping container. Thanks to fully containerized battery units, clients can save money on transportation and construction. The NAS battery has less capacity deterioration and no need for battery replacement until the end of its life, which is about 15 years or around 4,500 cycles. The batteries work in many environments with ambient temperatures between negative 20 to around 45 degrees Celsius. Because sodium and sulfur are abundant throughout nature, raw material depletion is not a concern. Clients who are concerned about the impact on the environment can rest easy knowing these raw materials will always be in abundance. Finally, easy operation and maintenance. With no self-discharge and no uniform charge required, preventative maintenance is minimal because consumable parts only need to be replaced periodically. It's also possible to schedule maintenance which will avoid interruption at peak operation. For the most most intuitive look, we also want to show the unoptimized characteristics of sodium sulfur batteries. The battery type's main disadvantage is that it requires a heat source for operational conditions. This makes the battery more or less immobile and impractical for residential use, especially when compared to the lithium-ion rechargeable batteries currently employed on most mobile computing devices. Most unfortunate of all is that it drains part of the battery's efficiency since the heat source needed for continuing operation is maintained using part of the battery's own stored energy. So when will it be used in the EV industry? The Ford Sodium Sulfur Battery is being evaluated for applications in EVs. The required power and energy ratings of a battery to achieve acceptable performance and driving range for a specific commuter type vehicle are being calculated and discussed. We'd love to hear your thoughts on sodium sulfur batteries. How do you see them performing in comparison to lithium batteries and which one do you believe will prevail as the battery of the future? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments down below. As we wrap up today's episode, we'd like to express our heartfelt gratitude for you tuning in to our channel Tesla Car World. Your unwavering support means the world to us, so if you found today's video engaging, we kindly request that you hit that thumbs up button, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell to stay abreast of the latest happenings in the EV realm. We look forward to welcoming you back for our next episode. For now, stay safe and take care.